Hi friends. If you are getting this blue screen error with this message bad system config info then in this video I'm going to tell you few methods which can be help you to fix this error. If any of this method help you please like this video and subscribe to this channel. So firstly go to the settings and in setting go to update and security. Here go to recovery and then go to startup advanced startup and click on restart now. Once you click on restart now, this screen will appear. Then click on troubleshoot here. Then go to advanced options. Then go to startup setting. Click on startup settings. And here you have to go to fourth option to enable the safe mode. Click on restart. Once you click on restart here, it will restart here press f4 and safe mode will get started you have to install the applications which uh, after which this error will start coming first method is this for that go to control panel and in control panel you have to go to the programs and features so in programs and future you can see the list of the applications if you want to organize it you can organize it from here so you have to install those applications which are after which this error start coming for a installing any application you have to right click on it and you will get the option to uninstall it also if you want to know which applications you have installed installed in your system recently go to the settings in settings open the settings and in settings go to apps and here you can short it with the name of the install date now right click on it And click on install we want to install the application and if you want to install the update go to view install update and right click on it or choose the application application which can be installed we will get the option upside like this install the application and then try to restart Close the control panel and then go and restart in system and check if you're still getting the error or not. Now the next method is update the driver. For that you have to go to the device manager, type device manager in the search option and open the device manager. Inside this you have to search for the disk driver. Go to disk driver, right click on it and click on update driver. Once you click on update driver, you will get this option, choose first one and it will search and if it is a driver is perfectly installed, it, you will get this message. So like this, you can update your driver. Now the next method is test the RAM. For that, you have to type this command mdshed.exe. Once you execute this, you will get this option. Here you have to choose this restart now and check for problems. So once you click on this, your windows will get restart and it will check for the RAM. So if, if you find any issue in that, just try to remove that and it will work. Further go to troubleshoot, then click on advanced option and then go to command prompt. So here I'm going to use few commands. You have to use these, these two command one by one. And once you execute these command one by one, Again, restart your system and check if you are able to uh, fix this error or this PSOD error removed or not from your system. If you are still facing this error, then use these three commands and you have to type one by one. First one is boot rack slash fx mbr, then boot rack slash fix boot. Then last command is boot rack slash rebuild dbcd. Once you execute, it all these three command you have to type exit and it will exit from the command prompt and restart and check if you are able to remove this error or not if you're still facing the error go to system restore this time and click on next here and choose the choose the point where you want to restore your system and restore it once you get restore again check if you are still facing this error or not so I hope any of this method will surely help you to fix this issue. If any of this method helped you, then please like this video 
and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching